Hey everybody, it's Suzanne checking in with this week's video blog. It is December 18th, 2011, and I am going into the 18th week post-op. This week I lost 3.3 pounds, and that brings me up to ah, a total of 67 pounds. And that leaves me, what, about 8 pounds from my goal of reaching 75 pounds um, in by December 31st. So I think I can, uh, all things, uh, you know, working right, I'll be able to reach that goal. Uh, got back into the gym. This was this past week, the full week, and I can definitely say that this is the key. Um, you know, before when I was having the, the back trouble and everything, it was a pound, a pound and a little bit. But this week I'm back up to 3.3 pounds. So we can say safely that you know going and exercising at least three times a week and this is um, real good cardio uh, weights uh, mixing it up and because uh, I, I never never really do the same thing you know twice uh, in a week so uh, the work with the personal trainer is definitely the key so anybody who is um, getting ready to have the surgery just plan on and it would be wonderful if uh, you know your doctor would sort of write a prescription um, for at least three or six months worth of personal training um, I think that's really 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 important um, and it will at least get you into you know going and you know meeting people and being able to you know work out with you know somebody that's you know also similarly inclined not everybody that goes to the gym is uh, in need of um, you know training uh, to get back into shape they're all in shape and um, I think that's probably the reason why they go is to stay in shape um, because there are a lot of people over there at the Louisiana Athletic Club who are uh, really you know in shape good great athletes and um, they stay that way because they exercise on a regular basis so I can see that this is definitely important to do so having said that I still next week I'll go Monday Wednesday and Thursday unless you know something happens and I'm not able to you know finish out the week before Christmas um, all my shopping is done for Christmas I I think um, you know there's always the last minute things uh, the Christmas lights outside are acting crazy again but those have been fixed and they're all burning again um, that seems to be you know a also a Christmas tradition with me is that you get all of the lights up they all burn and then they slowly go out so then you have to go figure out which set is burnt out so you can you know fiddle with them some more but anyway those are all done Christmas shopping's done uh, decorating is all pretty much done and you know next Sunday is Christmas I can't hardly believe it I mean it, it just seems like the year has really gone by fast and um, um, as I get older it goes by even faster I, I don't know if uh, you know what my mother has told me that as you get older time goes by um, in the blink of an eye so yeah, she's is right again um, that's pretty much it um, I am, um, you know, really still looking forward to around Easter, whatever Easter is. I, I don't know what time of the year it falls um, this year. But Easter break, um, April or March or, you know, I think it's in, in March. Um, still looking forward to, you know, the horseback riding event and uh, really, really looking forward to it. And uh, uh, might have to, you know, have some uh, right kind of, uh, you know, clothes to go do that. And uh, but anyway, I'll, I'm, you know, looking forward to that. And um, I, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll cut it short. Um, let's see. I guess 
yeah, I guess that's it. So until next week, which will be Christmas Sunday, um, I will uh, check in with everybody and um, wish everybody a happy Christmas. So everybody stay safe and, you know, don't, you know, overspend, but be safe and healthy. Bye.